Hi everybody, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct and welcome to our YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping by. In today's video, I'm gonna give you a review of the Vita Monster by EV Rider, also known as Model S12X. Mobility Direct Get stability, it'll only take a set. Take a set. Why deal with all that stress? There's no competition when you're dealing with the best. Mobility direct. Get stability, it'll only take a set. Take a set. Why deal with all that stress? There's no competition when you're dealing with the best. You wanna get out, but you're stuck in the house. You can't really walk and you need to get around. Well, come on down to mobility direct. They get you in the scooter, it'll only take a set. You're dealing with the best. Got prices for less. The park go to beach and put a Scooters to the test, hey. and our mobility scooters ride all day long. That's because they run on Dakota Lithium and come on. We could go for miles and miles. So much battery power, ride for hours and hours. Hey. You need wheels, well, we got deals. So just stop on by and come and get one of ours. Hey. Cause when it comes directly to mobility, uh -huh. there ain't nobody else. All right, welcome back. So let's go ahead and talk about the Vita Monster Scooter. It's a huge, powerful, off-road beast of a machine. And before I get started, I just want to mention a few quick things. Number one, if you want to learn more about our products and claim a copy of your free product catalog, just go to our website, Mobility Direct. Click on the green button at the top of every page that says free catalog. Fill out the simple short form that pops up and you'll get one in the mail within one to two weeks tops. I also want to say that if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, hopefully you're already subscribed, but if you're not and you do, you're automatically entered into our monthly giveaway raffle. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, once a month we give away free powered mobility product to a random subscriber of our YouTube channel. So if you're not already subscribed, what are you waiting for? Not only are you gonna get notified when we release awesome new content, but you're also gonna get entered into that giveaway. You could be the next lucky winner like the past few winners that you're seeing on the screen now. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started to talk about this awesome machine, again, made by EV Rider, the Vita Monster. Now I've got my specification sheet here. It's a little sales brochure, which you can download on our website. You can go to the product page and see tons of info, or you can just click on the link in the description below to get a copy. So the maximum speed is 7.5 miles per hour. The maximum weight capacity is 350 pounds and it can go about 25 miles on a full charge. This thing is meant for off-road. It's got huge knobby tires. It's not really a endurance scooter that's made for long distance commutes. It's mainly made for going on really rough terrain and just looking awesome. I mean, check this thing out. It's pretty sweet. It has a full light kit, full suspension, and we're gonna show you all that and more, including an aggressive bumper kit of rollover protection bar in the back which normally you only see on like tractors it has a 24 volt system here it's a 750 watt four pole motor it has a 120 amp rhino 2 controller which is super powerful it's got 280 amp hour 12 volt sealed lead acid batteries you could probably drop in lithium batteries, but it comes with lead acid. And we have lithium conversion kits available for every scooter. They're gonna weigh less, more range, and a better performance overall. So the leg room, you've got plenty of leg room here. You've got 14 inches by 20 inches, and you've got some little like foot uh, area here for your feet. So if you wanna keep your feet up high or bring them down low, plenty of space overall. You've got two cup holders as well, which is awesome. Uh, it does come with the charger. So the charging port's right here next to the key ignition, and it comes with the standard mobility scooter charger. It's a little barrel connector with three pins, plugs right in there. You can't really get it wrong. And the light on the charger will turn green when it's fully charged. Now, depending on how low the batteries are, it could take about four to six hours if it's fully drained. And right here, you've also got a little lever to tilt the handlebar assembly closer to you or further away from you for comfort. Well, the captain seat that it comes with has some premium red stitching. So 20 inches wide on the seat width on the probably right about here, it's measuring 20 inches. But if you go out to the furthest point, it's about 21 inches, actually, contrary to what the specification sheet says. Now, the depth is about 20 inches as well. If you go from all the way back to all the way to the front, now the seat back height, which is another important specification to go over that's not on the brochure sales spec sheet, it's about 23 inches tall to the backrest top uh, highest point. But if you go to the headrest at the lowest setting, you've got about 30 inches. Just that headrest, just like an automobile car seat, it does go up. There's a little button that you depress 
and you can bring the height of the uh, headrest up even further. You've got height adjustable, I'm sorry, you've got um, flip up armrests as well and you can adjust the angle of the tilt with that little rotation lever there. So if you've got the seat straight up all the way, you might want to lower the armrest stop point to, you know, better suit the recline angle of the seat. With that rollover protection system there, it doesn't really recline that much, but you can technically do that. However, that really wouldn't be advised with the rollover protection system, which you don't have to install it, but it is there, which makes it look awesome in my opinion. If you did remove it, you could see it, it reclines back pretty far actually for a mobility scooter seat. I haven't really seen any of that recline that far, which is pretty nice. Now let's talk about the dimensions of the scooter. It's not a small scooter. I wouldn't recommend taking this grocery shopping or indoors in an apartment building. It, this is meant for outdoors. Hence the name, the monster. It's big. And the dimensions are gonna be 53 inches tall, 26 inches wide, and 55 inches in length. So with that being said, it's also heavy. It's not a lightweight scooter. If you're gonna travel with it and you need to get a vehicle lift to attach to the hitch receiver of your truck or SUV, you're gonna need a heavy duty application because it weighs over 250 pounds. It has a three inch ground clearance, which it's okay for some people that's enough, um, but typically you do see about five to seven inches, even eight inches on some of the other off-road scooters that we've shown in our comparison video. But if you're not really gonna be going over boulders and curbs and doing a ton of off-roading that's really aggressive, it should do just fine. Now it has 13 inch tires in the front and according to the specifications, 13 inch tires in the rear. But we're gonna fact check that for a second here because I'm not so sure that's accurate. So we have 13 in the front, that is accurate. Now the front tires, as you can see, are not as aggressive with the treading as the rear tires, which have really aggressive treading on it. And as I guessed, it's actually incorrect on the spec sheet here from the manufacturer, you've got a little over 14 on the rear tires. So they are bigger tires, really nice looking rims. We did take this on a little ride off road mudding and we tried to clean it up as best we can, but there's still some uh, traces of off roading on this scooter. All right, so let's go ahead and start talking about the scooter. Starting from the front, we've got a nice bumper guard in the front, which I think is awesome. So if you are gonna put it in a truck bed, you don't have to worry about the plastic delicate paneling getting scratched. It's gonna hit this first. And when you transport this in the back of a truck bed, that comes in handy. It's got a full light kit uh, and it has lights down low, lights up high. If you turn on the hazards, it blinks a little bit, but you can see it has hazards, nice little Vita. X insignia here. Pretty nice color as well. You do have these little knockouts with some threaded screw holes in there for a front basket. It doesn't come with any storage, which is kind of one of the drawbacks. Definitely gonna have some pros and some cons, like everything. Uh, but what I would like to mention is that it has some really nice little decals or some red powder coated parts that make this thing look awesome. So you've got Part of the uh, rack and pinion system here and the steering system here with powder coated red finishing. You could see the shocks in there are also red. If you come in there, you're gonna see the red powder coated adjustable suspensions. And overall, I think that just adds to the look, the aggressive look of this thing. It's just an awesome looking scooter. You've got some wheel fenders in the front to help the, uh, the mud and the water not to kick up as much. And let's talk about the handlebar assembly here. You've got a nice, what looks like a wrapped, almost has like a carbon fiber finish on the handlebar. Very unique handlebar assembly here. You don't really have a full wraparound tiller, but pretty much. You've got plenty of positions to, angle, to hold it from. And you've got the right and the left paddle system, so you really only need one hand to control the forward. With the right, you pull back, it goes forward. Or you pull forward, it goes back. There's a beeper for the reverse. But if you want to use your left, you can do the same thing to go forward, you push forward or pull back to go back. Got a horn buzzer on each side. High low speed switch. So you can see it switches from high speed to low speed right there. Turn signals. Hazard mode switch. And you've got the light button to turn the lights on and off. So you've got a mode button, a set button, so you can check the user manual instructions out to go ahead and reset the uh, odometer 
to transition between the modes from time, trip, you've got temperature, kilometers, miles per hour. So there's a lot you could do with the dash. You wanna go over the user manual for all that. You can go uh, from military time to standard time. And then you got the, uh, the road hazard lights. So you get a little bit more light on the front when you hit that button. Just your hazard lights controlled by the button all the way to the right is what it seems like. So you got a, a bunch of options with the lights. And by the way, you also have lights in the back too. So I showed you the ones on the front. There are your rear brake lights. You got, I'm gonna turn on the hazards just to show you on the rear as well what that looks like. So lots of options here. And let's go ahead and talk about the rest of the uh, steering column tiller assembly, if you will. So you've got the tilting lever here to bring the handlebar assembly closer or further away from you. If you take the seat off, which by the way, it just comes straight off. You just pick straight up. So if you don't have the rollover protection system and you take the seat off, what you can actually do is lower the handlebar assembly all the way down. And this is gonna fit in the back of a van. It gets pretty low, you will need a big ramp, and you'll take this whole roll off, rollover protection system off. There's just two bolts, one that goes through this side, one that goes through the bottom, and this whole piece just comes off. So if you can imagine, when you roll this into the, the cargo space of an SUV or a van, and it's folded down like this, it fits, and that's pretty nice. So while we've got the seat off, I wanna show you, there's three little screws here, hand screws. If you unscrew these, you're gonna be able to access the battery compartment. So if you wanna change the batteries, you just loosen all three of these screws up and carefully bring this panel up and over the seat clover, which is height adjustable. So if you wanna adjust the seat height, you take this out carefully, there's your battery compartment. So your batteries are just clipped on. If you wanna disconnect the batteries, say you wanna wash it down, you could just pull these clips off and now you're safe. You don't have power going to anything. So you can, you know, I would keep the cover on, give it a little wash down with a sponge. And you know, if you're going off road and mudding, you're gonna have to keep this thing clean. It's inevitable. Disconnect your batteries. There's two batteries. These are those 12 volt, 80 amp hour batteries we were talking about. So if you disconnect these two, you're disconnecting power altogether to the controller. You don't have to worry as much about things short circuiting. And if you want to change the seat height, you'll just want to bring up this little rubber grommet piece that's around the seat post. And you're going to see a big nut there on the other side. You've got the bolt head. You want to get yourself the right tools. And when you take this bolt and this nut out, you can raise or lower this seat post that the seat attaches to. And that allows you to raise or lower the seat height. Now, this is a circuit breaker reset switch. So if you do trip it, this will be stuck out and you'll just push that button back in to reset the breaker. That's gonna be used to protect the unit in case you're overdoing it and it's getting overheated. Um, it's just there for protection. Just like your breaker box when you get a lightning storm, sometimes your power goes out and you'll have to trip the breaker switch back to the on position. That's what that's for and it's for protecting everything in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on and we'll go ahead and continue with our review. All right, so we put our cover back on and there's just a little male connection down there. And it does take a little practice to do this without looking, but essentially you just wanna get that male connector, line it up with the seat post and drop it in. So you do have a rotation lever on the right side, which I failed to mention earlier, and that's pretty nice. So if you wanna rotate the seat to make it easier to get in and out of the chair, you can also flip the armrests up and have it turn sideways, makes it really easy to get in and out of the chair. It does come with your two rear view mirrors. So something else that's really important to point out is that you do have a park mode and a, a neutral mode. So in order for the unit to work with the motor and the throttle, it needs to be in the forward position and the brakes are locked in. So I can't push the unit manually. However, if your battery's dying, you need to push the unit manually to get back home to change the batteries put it in neutral mode, and now you can push the unit. However, if you try to turn it on right now, let me show you what happens. It's just gonna beep a bunch of times, and it's not gonna work. So you've got that red error sign blinking. So it's actually not a beep sequence, it's a blink sequence. So when you look at your user manual, depending on how many times that exclamation mark lights up, it's a code. And in this case, it's telling you that the brake lever is not in the drive position, so you wanna turn it off, Bring it forward again into the drive position and turn the power back on and now it's going to work just fine. There we go. It's moving when I give it throttle. Good to go. All right, let's wrap it up. Yep. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Call our non-commissioned sales experts. We'd love to earn your business. They're not pushy. They just want to recommend a product that you're going to love. And if you want, just post your questions in the comment section below of our videos. We reply to every comment. And if you want to learn more about this, don't forget we have a ton of videos, not just on this model, but several other models like it. So check out our playlist for heavy duty mobility scooters and other scooters that we'll link in the description below. Again, my name is Sergio. I'm with Mobility Direct. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, have a great day. Mobility Direct get stability, it'll only take a set. Take a set. Why deal with all that stress? There's no competition when you're dealing with the best. Mobility direct. Get stability, it'll only take a set. Take a set. Why deal with all that stress? There's no competition when you're dealing with the best. You wanna get out?